but I truly believe you can do it and you could um, find light in this dark spot, in this hard spot uh, when you're ready. And no, you also, I don't think we've really talked on this. Like you don't have to do it alone. It doesn't have to be therapy either, but like you can't do it alone. There has to be something or someone or some support, whether it be a significant other, a best friend, a therapist, a group, community group of some sorts, you know, somewhere where you can speak to it and, and start to work through it. But you can't, what you can't do is you can't hide it. You can't leave it because even though you, if you ignore it, it ne it'll never go away and it'll only get worse. And then it'll start to affect other areas of your life and your subconscious that you don't even correlate to that pain, to that trauma. That is so true. Um, I mean, you really need to feel your feelings. That's the best way to actually move through them is to, to be able to feel them. And mm -hmm. that support is so important as well. And, and sometimes it can be really hard, which I'm sure it was for you too, um, to reach out for support. And I know many parents who have a child with mental illness and addiction, they may have a hard time reaching out for support.